Hi everyone, welcome back to Ames Mist. Today we're watching It's a Wonderful Life. So this is on the top 100 movies on the AFI list. I'm so excited to get more and more movies on that list checked off because it has been a bucket list of mine. Let's watch this one. I have no idea what I'm in store for. I just know that it is in black and white. People on my Patreon have told me that there are Christmas movies and then there is It's a Wonderful Life. If you wanna become a little Goomba, you can hit the link in the description box below or here and come over there and watch movies with us and help vote on polls to see what I will watch next and I'd love to have you over there. I just have that Ace of Base song stuck in my head. It's a beautiful life. Uh, uh. Not the same title. It's a wonderful life. It's a cool way to do credits and like a little storybook. Music like this reminds me of the Sound of Music soundtrack. You are now in Bedford Falls. I owe everything to George Bailey. Help him. Father. Is everybody praying or are they all worrying about the same person? Bring daddy back. Looks like we'll have to send someone down. A lot of people asking for help for a man named George Bailey. Oh, Clarence hasn't got his wings yet, has he? There's angels in the galaxy. Is he sick? No, worse. He's discouraged. Hmm. That man will be thinking seriously of throwing away God's greatest gift. His life. <gasps> if I should accomplish this mission, might I perhaps win my wings? You do a good job with George Bailey and you will get your wings. Oh. <laughs> if you ever get your wings, you'll see all by yourself. Hey, who's that? George Bailey. Oh, so he's getting to know him. Have to remember later on. They're sledding on shovels. They're doing such a good job. Oh no. George saved his brother's life that day, but he caught a bad cold which infected his left ear. Oh no, it's like little women. It was weeks before he was able to go back to his after school job at Old Man Gower's drugstore. Job? These kids are so young. <laughs> That's Henry F. Potter, the richest and meanest man in the county. Harry Potter? Wish I had a million dollars. Hot dog! You're late! Right. Hello, George. Hello, Mary. Hello, Violet. I like him. You like every boy. What's wrong with that? Nothing. You don't like coconuts. Say brainless. <laughs> I've been nominated for membership in the National Geographic Society. Oh. George Bailey, I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going out exploring someday. You watch. And maybe three or four wives. George Bailey? I like coconut, but I don't love coconut. Chocolate with coconut, though, is pretty good. Rich informed me that your son Robert died very suddenly this morning of influenza. Stop. Oh, God. A Western Union. Telegram. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anything I can do back here? Take those caps and over Mrs. Blaine. Oh, that's why he's been crying. He was also sucking back some medicine. Unless it was alcohol. I'm stressed. <gasps> Did he take poison? Oh, God. Is he going to go tell an adult? Pass there, Captain Cook. Where you hidden? Got to see Papa, Billy. <laughs> Captain Cook, the traveler. Squall in there. It's shaping up into a storm. Bank examiner. Should have called him yesterday. Times are bad, Mr. Potter. A lot of these people are out of way. Well, all closed. Are you running a business or a charity war? Of course, I should give it to miserable failures like you. He's not a failure. You... <gasps> You're not. You're the biggest man in town. Oh, he's speaking up for his dad. Why do you say that about you, Pop? All right, son, all right. God. Why, that medicine should have been there an hour ago. Oh, he's stammering. He's not even coherent in what he's saying. What kind of tricks are you playing into it? Jesus. Don't you know that boy's very sick? I really must know him here. Is he bleeding in his bad ear? You put something bad in those capsules. It wasn't your fault, Mr. Gower. It's poison, I tell you, it's poison. Oh, that's what he did. <laughs> what? Tasting it. You would have killed the child. So harsh. Oh, Mr. Gow, I would never oh. kill anyone. <gasps> I would have killed so quick to die, I would. Oh, he did the right thing. I, I want a big one. What'd you stop it for? I want you to take a good look at that face. George Bailey. <gasps> oh, you mean the kid that had his ear slapped back by the druggist? That's the kid. I like George Bailey. Did he ever tell anyone about the pills? Not a soul. No, he didn't tell anyone. Did he ever go exploring? Well, wait and see. <sighs> ah, you're talking. Gee whiz, I could use that as a raft in case the boat sunk. <laughs> no charge. What's my name doing on it? Here? A little present from old man Gawa. Came down and picked it out himself. Wow, that's really sweet. Oh, Mr. Gower? Oh, 
Oh, it's really bumping in there. <laughs> exactly what I want. Oh, forget it. Oh, it's wonderful of you. He's like, you saved my ass. <laughs> hey, send me some of those picture postcards, will you, Tony? Hey, hi, Ernie. Hi, Joe. I'm a rich tourist today. How about driving me home in style? Good afternoon, Mr. Bailey. Hello, Violet. Some dress you got on there. This old thing. <laughs> he was gawking at her. <laughs> oh, oh, you two idiots. <laughs> Annie, I'm in love with you. There's a moon out tonight. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy, oh, boy, my last meal in the old Bailey boarding house. Oh. Hope you have a good trip, George. Uncle Billy and I are going to miss you. What's the matter? You look tired. Oh, I had another tussle with Potter today. I'm on the board of directors. He'd ease up on us a little bit. God, the Potter guy. Still up his ass. <laughs> sick in his mind, sick in his soul if he has one. He hates everybody that has anything that he can't have. Hates us mostly, I guess. You know, George, I wish we could send Harry to college with you. See, Harry will take my job in the building alone, work there for four years, and then he'll go. Suppose you've decided what you want to do when you get out of college. Oh, well, you know what I've always talked about, build things. Well, after that first million before you're 30, huh? No, I'll sell for half that in cash, though. You wouldn't consider coming back to the building alone, would you? Well, I wouldn't face being cooped up for the rest of my life in a shabby little office. <laughs> I want to do something big and something important. I feel that in a small way, we are doing something important. I just feel like if I didn't get away, I'd bust. He has his own hopes and dreams for himself. This town is no place for any man unless he's willing to crawl to Potter. You get yourself an education and get out of here. Mm. Bob, I think I'll get dressed and go over to Harry's party. His dad seemed a little bit upset, but supportive. Yeehaw! Oh, Sam Wainwright. How are you? When'd you get here? Putting the pool under this floor is a great idea. Save this another building. <laughs> His idea? Oh, there she is. Will you remember my kid sister, Mary? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dance with her, will you? Poor Violet. <gasps> but hadn't it been for that, that race had been. Is that the girl from the shop? <laughs> no. Hey, this Ooh. is my day. Oh, why don't you stop annoying people? <laughs> uh, that was a little girl named Mary Hatch. That wasn't you. Yes, oh yes, the big Charleston contest! They used to always do these back in the day. It was like Greece, right? Oh, I love the dresses back then. Did you know there's a swimming pool under this floor? George Bailey is dancing right over that crack. Don't. Don't you dare. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, they're still going. They're killing it, though. They're still going. Oh, everyone else is jumping in. Oh, no. <laughs> Might as well go, too. They're all crazy. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe he went in, too. <laughs> can't you come out tonight? Can't you come out tonight? By the light. Oh, oh hot dog. Hot dog. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. <laughs> Hey, Mary. No, you see, you make a wish and then try and break some glass in. You gotta be a pretty good shot nowadays, too. I'd like to live in it. A good reno will do it some good. Oh, you got a good shot. What'd you wish, George? Well, not just one wish, a whole hat full. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet and I'm gonna see the world. And then I'm gonna build <laughs> things. What, well, you gonna throw a rock? She's gonna make a wish. Yeah, girl. She's not gonna tell him. Buffalo gals, can't you come out to can't, can't tell your wish. It won't come true. What is it you want, Mary? You you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. <laughs> I'll give you the moon, Mary. Am I talking too much? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to death? <laughs> oh, youth is wasted on the wrong people. <laughs> back out here i'll show you some kissing will put hair back on your head <gasps> this is a very interesting situation <laughs> please give me my robe he's gonna try to negotiate to find out what her wish was shame on you i'm going to tell your mother on you okay way up in the corner there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no please tell me something bad didn't happen your father's had a stroke <gasps> they didn't even get a kiss Oh, no. I think that's all we'll need you for, George. I know you're anxious to make a train. Oh, no. Is he going to give up his dreams? To appoint a successor to our dear friend, Peter Bailey. 
I'd like to get to my real purpose. He's going to take over it now for his dad, and he's not going to go live his dreams. Peter Bailey was the building in law. Considering that you probably drove him to his grave. I ain't that the truth. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. And what's wrong with that? Oh, don't you dare yawn. Mr. Potter, that this rabble you're talking about, they do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. People were human beings to him. Father was a good man. Well, in my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be. I'm... Ain't that the truth? This town needs this measly one-horse institution, place where people can come without crawling to Potter. Way to stick up for your dad. Sandimental hogwash. He's been telling off Potter ever since he was a little kid. They're putting us out of business. So what? I can get another job. I'm only 55. God, should be retiring soon, buddy. Why is there a crow in here? They've appointed George here as executive secretary to take <gasps> his father's place. Uh-oh. But George, they'll vote with Potter otherwise. Oh, no. Not only that, but he gave his school money to his brother Harry and sent <gasps> him to college. Oh, my God. What? George got four years older waiting for Harry to come back. And his brother's not going to want to take over it. It's a Yukon. What, right here. Wanted man with engineering experience. <gasps> wait, 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 wait a minute. George? This is his lady. I want you to meet Ruth. Hello. Ruth Dake and Bailey, if you don't mind. <gasps> they get married? Here she is. Meet the wife. <gasps> what am I doing? Congratulations! <laughs> Think Why don't you tell someone? <laughs> What's a pretty girl like you doing marrying this two-headed brother of mine? Father offered him a job. Wait a second. George, about that job. Bruce spoke out of turn. I never said I'd take it. Well, I won't let you down, George. Oh, no. His life is just passing him by. It'd be so hard to be in this situation, just doing what's right and doing what his father would have wanted. Then he got roped into it with all the votes, speaking up for everyone except for himself. Oh, well, my father owns a glass factory in Buffalo. He wants to get Harry started in the research business. They do a pretty good job with all these sets back then, establishing like the town and the houses and stuff. Hmm. He threw them away. They're all the places he wants to go. Looks like she can keep Harry on his toes. Not a Bedford Falls, anyway. Do you know that Mary Hatch is back from school? Mm. I was wondering if he was single or what was going on. One good reason why you shouldn't call on Mary. Sure, Sam Wainwright. She lights up like a firefly whenever you're around. And all's fair in love and war. Mm. Al, I think I'll go out and find the girl and do a little passionate necking. He's got wicked comedic timing. Excuse me. All right, row, it's Violet I again. I got a date, but uh, <sighs> stick around, fellas, just in case, huh? Just in case he ditches me. Are you game, Vi? Let's make a night of it. Let's go out in the fields and take off our shoes and walk through the grass. <laughs> she seems terrified of all of these things. Walk in the grass in my bare feet. <laughs> Okay, just forget about the whole thing. <laughs> it's different times. <gasps> there she is. I just happened to be passing by. Your mother just phoned and said you were on your way over to pay me a visit. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, she drew him lassoing the moon. But honestly, the time it would take to set your hair like that back then takes forever and the brush out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really busy street they're on. I thought you would go back to New York like Sam and Angie and the rest of them. I don't know. I guess I was homesick. Just because you want to leave doesn't mean people don't love it there. Oh, is, did she like needlepoint stitch that or something? Oh, no, she drew it. It's on an easel. Can't tell with the black and white. <laughs> it still smells like pine needles around there. Thank you. <laughs> and dance by... It's my... Oh, oh, yeah. He's become so bitter. He's not as free as he was four years ago. Why don't you go home? That's where I'm going. No, that was their song. Forgot my hat. <laughs> Yeehaw, hello, Sam. How are you? There's an old friend of yours here, George Bailey. Nobody's trying to steal anybody's girl here. He gets close to her and he gets a little bit more entranced by her and like her smell. He says it's a chance Kiss for a lifetime. Kiss her. And I don't want to get married ever to anyone. You understand that? <laughs> oh no, mommy dearest. <gasps> they did it. <laughs> I don't understand the throwing of rice. Like it would just hurt. <laughs> Is it a storm outside? That's good luck. It means they'll be wealthy. People will probably just say that to make people feel better when it rains on their wedding day. <laughs> Her 
her mom's still shaking her head. Annie, we're just two old maids now. Mm -hmm. You speak for yourself, Miss B. <laughs> oh, he's a bit more happy now. Where are we going? Look at this. There's the kitty, Ernie. <gasps> or is he just happy because he's like getting out of there for a bit and finally traveling? Funny going on over there at the bank, George. What? One, but that's got all the earmarks of being a run. It's like what happened to the San Francisco bank. And all I know is the bank called alone. When? About an hour ago, I handled oh, a wall. Oh, my. Every time he tries to go, something happens. It's Potter. What? Just took over the bank. Just tell them to bring their shares over here, and I will pay 50 cents on the dollar. Boy, you never miss a trick, do you, Potter? No. Oh, it's dad. All you can take with you is that which you've given away. <gasps> you can take this one off now. Did he guarantee this place? Well, no. You're, you're, you're thinking of this place all wrong. Well, your money's in Joe's house. That's right next to yours. Are you going to Potter's? Better to get half than nothing. Now, listen to me. I, I beg of you not to do this thing. Yeah, he, like, supported you all. Building on a loan, there'll never be another decent house built and in this town. And now you're turning your backs on him. He got the department stores, and now he's after us. Because he wants to keep you living in his slums. Don't you see what's happening? Potter isn't selling. Potter's buying. We can get through this thing, all right? We've got to stick together, though. We've got to have faith in each other. I need cash. All right, how much do you need? $2,000, this will tie us over to the bank reopen. Oh my gosh, their honeymoon money. I'll take $242. Buddy, just rallying for the community, man. Doesn't want to be taken over by Potter and the man. But it's your own money, now, George. Don't mind about that. How much do you want? Well, Pay when you can, that's okay. Oh man, $20 back then would have been a lot. Bingo! We made it! <laughs> okay, let's put him in the safe and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Bailey is on the phone. Oh, it's Buddy's Crow. What home? 320 Sycamore. Well, what? Are they gonna fix up that place? <laughs> Entree. Mm. Oh, look at the chickens roasting on the fire. <laughs> she made it so special. This is what I wished for. She told him about her wish. Come on, bring the baby. So many kids and a goat. I want to have a little ranch of sheep and goats. And then I want to name all my goats after the greatest of all time, like Gretzky and Crosby and Whitney Houston and, you know, <laughs> Ronaldo, Messi. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Martini, welcome home that life may always have flavor. And wine, that joy and prosperity may reign forever. But you can't laugh off this Bailey Park anymore. I was gonna say that area is quite nice. But one of these days, this bright young man's gonna be asking George Bailey for a job. Bailey family's been a boil on my neck long enough. Hey, why don't you kids drive down with us, huh? Afraid I couldn't get away, Sam. Mm. Quite a cigar, Mr. Potter. You like it? I'll send you about. He has a photo of himself hanging in his office. But the Bailey building alone. You know also that for a number of years I've been trying to get control of it. But if you get control of it, you get control of the town and he won't let you. In fact, you have beaten me, George. That takes some doing. Well, it's because he's for the people. But George Bailey, who hates his job, who hates the building alone almost as much as I do. Maybe he'll end up being proud of his life and for everything that he did for his town and the people of it. Trapped into frittering his life away, playing nursemaid to a lot of garlic eaters. George, I'll start you out at $20,000 a year. You wouldn't mind living in the nicest house in town? But she likes their house. George Bailey, whose ship has just come in. God, I hate his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, George Bailey. Don't you dare. Is it a deal or isn't it? You give me 24 hours to think it over. Sure, sure, sure. I don't need 24 hours. No, you don't. No, and the answer's no, no. Do you think the whole world revolves around you and your money? Well, it doesn't, Mr. Potter. I'd say you were nothing but a scurvy little spider. He's so good at standing up to him every time. After that, I'm shaking the dust of this crummy little town off my feet, and I'm going to see the world. Hi. Why in the world do you ever marry a guy like me? Why not? Keep from being an old maid. I want my 
baby to look like you. I didn't even have a honeymoon. <gasps> She's pregnant. Mary, you, you on the nest? <laughs> now you've probably already guessed that George never leaves Bedford Falls. Mary had her baby. Then she had another one, a girl. Hmm. Day after day, she worked away remaking the old Granville house into a home. Night after night, George came back late from the office. Guess I gotta appreciate what you got, right? Harry Bailey topped them all. <gasps> a Navy flyer, he shot down 15 planes. Wow. A hero. Or if on account of his ear. Oh, yes, that's right, because he couldn't hear from that ear. Oh, his brother won the Congressional Medal of Honor. <gasps> the big welcoming home for his brother. The Navy's going to fly him all their home this afternoon. In a plane? Is that the angel? That man is here again. What man? Oh. A, a, a bank examiner. Oh. oh, bank examiner. Ah, uh, well, uh, between you and me, Mr. Carter, we're broke. Yeah. Very funny. It's the truth. <laughs> Eight thousand. Didn't look like you counted that properly. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Potter. What's the news? Can't keep those Baileys down. Now can you, Mr. Potter? Well, aren't you going to make a deposit? Did he leave it on the countertop and it got stolen? Bailey. <gasps> no! Hey, you better give back that money, damn it. He's like, this is how I'm going to get them to shut down. You SOB. No. It's got to be somewhere. Oh, no. I know, but... What do, you, what do you want to do? Hawk your furs and not a hat? Good luck to you. I'm glad I know you, George Bailey. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to get the wrong impression. What's the matter with you? Potter, it's Christmas. You give them back their goddamn money. You'd be fair. He had it on his desk, counting it before he closed up. Literally retracing his steps. <laughs> we don't want any maybe, but we've got to find that money. Where's that money? You realize what this means? One of us is going to jail. Well, it's not going to be me. Oh, God. Whew. He has a lot of pets. Dog, hamster, bird, crow, owl. Monkey? Squirrel? Look how beautiful the house is. Isn't it wonderful about Harry? Oh. She realizes something's wrong. He's not going to be able to handle I'm this. playing that. I have to practice it for the party tonight. Well, I don't want the families over here. The Browns next door have a new car. You should see it. Oh, what's the matter with our car? Isn't it good enough for you? Yes, Daddy. Excuse you for what? I burped. <laughs> Susan, well, what's the matter with Susan? Well, she's got a cold. She's in bed. Mm. Of course, it's this old house. I, I don't know why we don't all have pneumonia. Why do we have to live here in the first place and stay around this measly, crummy old town? I mean, why do we have to have all these kids? Jesus. He's gonna be so mad. I love the house so much. Well, what happened to you? I'm on a flower. <laughs> You stay in bed and stay warm. Taste it. Zuzu's teacher? Yes. Let me see. I'm scared. Say, what kind of a teacher are you anyway? Have teachers like you, stupid, silly, careless people. Oh, no. Hello, Mrs. Welch. I, I want to apologize. Oh, she hung up. He's just taking everything out on the town and the townspeople and his family. Janie, haven't you learned that silly tune yet? You play it over and over again. Now stop it, stop it! Dad's in the middle of a crisis. All the stuff that he built, his designs. <gasps> I'm sorry, Mary. Janie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's the matter with everybody? Oh, Daddy! They're in shock with what just happened. Oh, my goodness. I've been so mesmerized by his acting this whole movie. Shall I pray for him? <laughs> yes, Jenny, pray very hard. I need help. I'm so mad at Potter right now. Through some sort of an accident, my company shortened their accounts. This guy's a scoundrel. How can he live with himself? Help me, won't you please? Can't you see what it means to my family? No, sir, there's nothing wrong with the books. I've just misplaced $8,000. You misplaced $8,000. He's taking the fall. Can't you see how good of a person he is? Well, they don't have that kind of money, Mr. Potter. You know that. You're the only one in town that can help me. Yeah, give him his money back. Look how much he's suffering. Well, I have some life insurance. 
You used to be so cocky. You were going to go out and conquer the world. Yeah, but look what he's done for the town. You're worth more dead than alive. <gasps> That's going to sink into him, isn't it? I'm going to swear out a warrant for your arrest. I can't even handle how much of an SOB this guy is. He's actually the worst person on the planet. Yeah, Merry Christmas! He doesn't want to ask everybody for help. <gasps> Don't you dare even think it. Don't you dare even think it. You're such a good person, George Bailey. You can't. Dear Father in heaven, I'm not a praying man, but show me the way. God. Ugh. You all right, George? Will somebody take you home, huh? Why you drink so much, my friend? Which Bailey? <gasps> the next time you talk to my wife like that, you'll get worse. Oh, he didn't mean to talk to her like that. The last time you come in here, you hear that, Nick? They got your back, George. No, no, you no feels good. Sit down and rest. Oh, crap. <laughs> he hates that door. My great grandfather planted this tree. <gasps> Oh, crap. Come back here, drunken fool! Oh, my God. Oh, no. The bridge. Oh, no. <gasps> the contrast of the black and white and the snow and everything looks quite good in this movie. No, don't. Oh, what a dive. It's like at the beginning of the movie. Was that the angel? Oh, Tom Sawyer's drying out too. No, oh, yeah, it is the angel because the book. I didn't fall in. I jumped in to save George. <gasps> you didn't go through with it, did you? Through with what? Suicide. I had to work quickly. I knew if I were drowning, you tried to save me. And that's how I saved you. Mm, a witty, witty angel. I'm the answer to your prayer. Well, who are you then? Clarence Oddbody, AS2. Hmm? Angel, second class. <laughs> this guy can't believe it. It's like he's seen an angel. <laughs> Potter's gonna have a change of heart. He's gonna give you guys back the money, and it's gonna be a Christmas miracle. Why do you wanna save me? For I'm your guardian angel. Ridiculous of you to think of killing yourself for money. Think, just things like that. Now, how do you know that? I hope he's gonna change his mind. What happened to your wings? I haven't worn my wings yet. <laughs> And you'll help me, won't you? Sure. And help each other. No, we don't use money in heaven. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm worth more dead than alive. Mm. Yeah, he's still hanging on to that. You just don't know all that you've done. Exactly. If it hadn't been for me, everybody would be a lot better off. I'll no. Go off and haunt somebody else. <laughs> How are you going to make him see? It's not going to be easy. I suppose it would been better if I'd never been born at all. <gasps> How dare you say that? You've got your wish. You've never been bored. He's going to show him what life would be like and what the town would be like if he was never born. Say something else in that ear. He can hear. He's going to go for a little walk around the town. He's going to see everything. Your lips stop bleeding too, George. What's happening? Sorry, I'll stroll. You fly. I can't fly. I haven't got my wings. Yeah. Car's not going to be there. Oh, no, Mary, but then, like, his kids won't be alive either. Well, this is where I left my car, and it isn't here. But you wish you never were born. Maybe the war was different, because maybe your brother wasn't a war hero. Town's going to be taken over by Potter. You had me worried. One of the oldest trees in Pottersville. <gasps> Pottersville. He changed the name of the town. God damn it. No one's going to know who you are. Hey, look, I'm the boss. You want a drink or don't you? Flaming rum punch. We don't make those here, sir. You see a lot of strange things from now on. You got any money? No. I jumped in the river to save you so I could get my wings. Exactly. <laughs> Every time you hear a bell rings, it means that some angel's just got his wings. Oh. I heard that in National Lampoon's. Nick. Well, Nick, that's your name. <gasps> I don't think he's going to know him either. Oh, no. Didn't I tell you never to come panhandling around here? Oh, no. 
Maybe after he lost his son, he was never the same because he didn't have him. Mr. Gower, look, this is George Bailey. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mr. Mr. Gower! 20 years in jail for poisoning a kid, if you... Remember the beating he gave him, though? <laughs> it was pretty intense. <laughs> but he saved his ass. George has done so much good, and he just can't see how much good he's done. Hey, what's going on around here? Nick's. Well, this ought to be Martini's place. He told you you're going to see a lot of this silly things or different things. Look, who are you? I told you, George, I'm your guardian angel. Yeah, yeah. You're a hypnotist? <laughs> it's because you were not born. Because you were never born. The flower petals born because you weren't born. You've been given a great gift, George. A chance to see what the world would be like without you. Mary. Did she get together with Sam and so unhappy? You're driving me crazy, too. I'm seeing things here. How am I doing, Joseph? He wants his wings. Frickin' Pottersville. Get out of here. It was pretty bumping. <laughs> Bailey Billing and was up there. They went out of business years ago. <gasps> Violet. Everything shot in this jump. Hey, Ernie. Ernie. Where do you live? On a dog gone it, Ernie. Don't you start pulling that stuff. He's like, what in the hell? This guy is off his nut. And I ain't never seen you before in my life, see? This would be crazy to see what life and the world would be like if you were never born. What a wake-up call it would be. Because he just never believed that he did any good because he didn't travel around. I mean, it still would suck to not live your dreams, but he's done so much. I don't know, but we better keep our eye on this guy. He's bats. <laughs> Oh, yes, he is. And he's going to go even more batshit when he realizes kids aren't there because he was never born. What's happened to this house? Wait, where's Mary? Where's my kids? Bert and Ernie. <laughs> oh, my God, he bit him. Oh, Joseph! Joseph! <gasps> Holy crap. Holy crap. The Bailey boarding house. Oh, she doesn't look well. This is George. I thought sure you'd remember me. I don't take in strangers unless they're sent here by somebody I know. Your brother-in-law, Uncle Billy. You know him? When'd you see him last? Today, over at his house. He's been the insane asylum ever since he lost his business. He had his little quirks with all his pets and his little string on his fingers. Each man's life touches so many other lives. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? The last man I talked to before all this stuff started happening to me was Martini. Well, sure I know where he lives. He lives in Bailey Park. Cemetery. But where are the houses? We went here to build them. <sighs> Harry. Broke through the ice and was drowned at the age of nine. He wasn't there to save him. Harry wasn't there to save him because you weren't there to save Harry. That's right. They said to remember that at the beginning of the movie. You see, George, you really had a wonderful life. Oh. Don't you see what a mistake it would be to throw it away? Where's Mary? She's an old maid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Clarence. We're going to get you your wings. <laughs> She's a cute old maid. Mary, it's George. Don't you know me? You're terrifying her. That's my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get away. <laughs> oh, he shot out the Pottersville. Oh no, he's back on the bridge. Wish for your life back. Get me back, I don't care what happens to me. Get me back to my wife and kids. I want to live again. Hey, George. <gasps> oh, he's back. The Sam Hill you yelling for, George. You. <gasps> He knows who he is. Wow, what a, an amazing, like, how they turned it back into him being at the bridge without having to, like, save Clarence. <laughs> My mouth's bleeding, Bert! <laughs> Never been more happy. Zuzu, there they are! Merry Christmas! Don't you want to get a ride home? <laughs> you almost knocked down the oldest tree in Bedford Falls. He loves it there now. He loves it there now. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, George! Merry Christmas, George! He's never been happier to be in his hometown. Bet you doesn't feel crummy now. Merry Christmas, you wonderful old Billy and Lou! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter! Well, hello, Mr. Bank Examiner! <laughs> Warrant for my arrest. Isn't it wonderful? I'm going to jail! 
Mary! Oh, look at this wonderful old drafty house. He's thankful for the house now. Where is Mary? Kids! Pete! Oh, oh. <laughs> Just needs a little glue. Oh, I could eat you up. Something better not frickin' happen to Mary. <gasps> okay, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna end things, but I decided not to because I met an angel. <laughs> What's going on? George, it's a miracle. It's a Is it a Christmas miracle? Did everybody donate? Yeah. 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 Mary, did she told yeah. some people you were in trouble and they scattered all over town collecting money? The town. The people of the town. Of course they would after everything he's yeah, done. I for busted all of and took a box. <laughs> That's smart. Uh, Mary, she did this too for the town. Remember when she had their honeymoon money? Annie. I've been saving this money for a divorce if ever I get a husband. <laughs> Is this going to change Potter? My office instructed to advance you up to $25,000. Stop. Oh. Hee haw and Merry Christmas, Sam Wainwright. <gasps> Thanks, Sam. Oh, the bank exa examiner pitched in. To my big brother, George, the richest man in town. <laughs> the Tom Sawyer book. No, my fellow's friends, thank you for the wings. Oh, Clarence got his wings. My guardian angel. This is present from a very dear friend of mine. Right. Had a boy, Clarence. The line. The end. Oh my God! I think that I'm gonna explode. What a heartwarming and inspirational message that just resonates. Oh my gosh. How do people watch this at Christmas? I mean, what a beautiful Christmas movie, but it, I guess because in the end it is uplifting and it is such a beautiful story, but oh my gosh, I'm like torn to pieces by the experience, I, you know? I'm just allowing this movie to sink in because it's so beautiful. Such beautiful themes and messages. And I think this is a movie that everyone should watch. And James Stewart carried this colossal movie on his shoulders. For people who don't like black and white movies, come on, the cinematography, the direction of this movie, the, I love the contrast of black and white. This makes the snow look so good. Ugh, also, like, I love the way actors look in black and white, and obviously everyone in this movie, the leads were also so stunning. I couldn't stop looking at Mary. She just was so perfect. But this movie is so special, so special, so special. I am so happy to have watched this and checked off another movie on the top 100 on the AFI list. This definitely deserves a spot on the list. This movie had me mesmerized. The acting was just so pure. It was so real. And it is what movies are all about. Characters, story. This movie has completely changed me. This is a beautiful movie and has stood the test of time. It has an emotional resonance. It has such storytelling power. Maybe Christmas is gonna be a different Christmas this year. Maybe it's gonna change me. Maybe I'm changed. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here for Ames Miss. I am so thankful to all of you. So thank you so much for being here and making this year so incredible. If you love movies, don't forget to hit that sub, smash the like, and ring that notification bell so you never miss a video upload. Remember to be kind, remember that you matter always, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Ciao. Merry Christmas!